In this quick video, I'll be showing you how to install a mod manager without ads for Lethal Company. I'd recommend this one over pretty much all other ones. It is R2 Modman, originally a mod manager for Risk of Rain. It's got support for a ton of different games, including Lethal Company and most of the ones supported on the Thunderstorm. In the description down below, you'll find a link to R2 Modman. Simply click manual download here and open up the zip when it's done downloading. It's around 200 megs. We'll need to place this somewhere temporarily, such as in a folder on our desktop. So I'll extract everything, close and delete the zip. Then we can run r2modman.exe. We'll click through the installer. So next, choose a place to install it to install and shortly after we'll be able to run it. You'll also find a shortcut on your desktop. In here, simply click and search for lethal where we'll find lethal company. Click set as default and the next time you open the software, it'll open straight into the lethal company mod manager. Simply click select profile to choose the default profile and all we need to do is head across to online where we can click the download button here. Head across to online where we can choose the weapon X pack by clicking it here and choose download. Then download with dependencies and now we're able to mod the game. So let's install the mod, say Ouija board. We'll select it, click download, download with dependencies if you see the pop-up and shortly after it'll be installed as well as all the other requirements. You'll find them in the installed folder here. So Pepin X, the mod we chose and all of the requirements for both of them. When we want to play the game, simply open up R2 Modman and choose Start Modded. This will start the game with all of the mods here loaded, regardless of what's in your Lethal Company folder. If you choose to start vanilla, it'll start the game as usual using everything from your Lethal Company folder. I mentioned this specifically because if we were to open up Lethal Company, so right click, manage, browse local files, you'll see that I've manually installed Bepin X and inside of here, plugins, a mod here. If we were to fire up the game in vanilla mode, it'll load this folder as well as all of our mods we've manually installed. However, if we choose start modded, it'll launch with all of these ones here instead. If you've previously manually installed mods for Lethal Company, I'd recommend heading across to your game folder, selecting Bepin X, as well as scrolling down winhttp.dll. Hold control to select both of these when you click on them. So control and click at the same time. And now we can simply cut these and move them across to a different folder or delete them. Upon doing so, we will have reverted our game back to vanilla. And when we choose to launch it through the mod manager using start modded, it'll launch with everything here, allowing you to join both vanilla lobbies and modded lobbies very quickly and easily. In the config editor section, you can edit the configuration for different mods, assuming they have things that you can customize. Scrolling down, it's very simple to do so. In the settings menu here, all the way to the bottom, we can update all mods very quickly and scrolling up a little bit or clicking profile at the very top, you'll see export profile as code and as file. If we choose to export as code, you'll be given a link, you'll be given a code that you can simply copy and share with your friends. It'll automatically be copied. So a friend will open up R2 Modman and be asked to choose a profile. So reopening R2 Modman, I'm asked to select a game. I can search for Lethal Company, select game, and we'll be asked to select a profile. If we choose to import slash update, we can import a new profile from file or code, then paste in the code here or upload the file import and just like that we'll be asked to rename it if it hasn't got a unique name already so for example my mod pack create and now we have the default and my mod pack selecting my mod pack by clicking it then choosing select profile it should automatically download all of the mods required and we click start modded we should have the same configuration as whoever made this mod pack that's it it's that simple r2 mod man is exactly the same as the thunderstore application from the overwolf store just without ads but anyways that's what i covered in my previous video and to be honest it's kind of scummy but anyways you now know how to get it with ads to support i assume the developers and without ads the normal default way hopefully this video was nice and short got you everything you needed thank you all for watching my name's been triple shoot and i'll see you all next time ciao